video is not an advertisement or a sponsorship. I simply wanted to give you guys a little taste of what it's like to get a haircut by some of the most talented in the world. This is the Daniel Alfonso Men's Salon. My name is Daniel Alfonso. I've been cutting hair for 21 years and uh, finally trying to live the American dream. Well, oh my God, I mean, it's a long story. You know, I uh, was, it all started off in my garage, you know, a long time ago. One of my friends asked me, you know, can you cut my hair? And I was like, all right, I'll end up cutting your hair. And I, I ended up cutting it. And I was like, this is kind of awesome, man. I get to cut my friend's hair and they get to pay me. I just fell into the passion. Well, I mean, back then, I kind of like trained myself. I just ended up knowing what looks good. But at the same time, you know, after cutting hair for quite a while, uh, without training, I ended up wanting to take it serious and uh, went to school for it. Well, what I love about, you know, cutting men's hair is, you know, I love making people look good, you know what I mean? And it, it just feels good to me to help people look good. It's a good feeling. I put passion into every haircut, you know what I mean? I think that whoever does whatever job, you should do it at 100%. Whenever I do a haircut, I put my all into it because my business card is on your head. When you're walking around, it's my duty for you to get that compliment. When people go up to you and say, Joe, I love your hair, who cut it? You know, a compliment to you is a compliment to me. You're my walking billboard, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of pride into this salon and a lot of passion. Um, sometimes I walk into the salon and I'm like, wow, like I own this salon. It's, it's just, I, I'm just thankful for it. And I, you know, I, I respect it. And everyone in the salon like loves this place because the energy and stuff like that. Their personalities, they just love doing what they do. They come in here with a positive attitude. Um, and the thing is, it's like, we're so easy to work with because, you know, we just love doing what we do and we just keep it a positive environment and everyone, everyone's just happy and we just all love doing what we do and we get along like, you know, peas and carrots. <laughs> Chairs are literally 200 years old, and uh, you know to get these chairs, there's this guy. Uh, he's like a barber chair mechanic. And uh, when I first saw this chair right here, that's 200 years old, I went up to him. His name is Jesse, and I went up to him. I was like, "Can I get five of these?" And he's like, "Oh man, there's there's no way you can get five of these chairs. That's like asking to get five old school Mustangs. You know what I mean? You, you, you just can't. Every every one of them is gonna be different." Just everything had to be perfect, you know what I mean? It was late nights of Pinterest, you know, just going going on Pinterest and just trying to find inspiration. You know, I've always wanted to go against the grains with every salon, you know what I mean? Like, people always said, you know, you know, salons should always be bright. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I want to have an all black salon. 
So we had to put just a lot of lighting. Um, the thing is, it's like, it, it's dark in here, but it's still bright. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to go against the grains, you know, put mirrors and chains on it. Um, you know, I put a TV in here uh, along with a bar, you know, because it's all about the ultimate experience. We got this American Buffalo Head. Actually, that American Buffalo Head was the first thing that we bought um, before we opened the salon. It was weird because we bought that American Buffalo Head and I put that in my Jeep. And I'm like literally driving with these horns out. You know, there's like wind blowing and his beard's like, you know, blowing in the wind and stuff. But uh, that was like pretty much the pinnacle of opening up this salon. Well, I mean, it, it was definitely a team effort. We got a, I couldn't do it without Christina Williams over here, my girlfriend. And, uh, you know, it, I couldn't do it without her. And uh, the thing is, is we both made this happen together. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I'm more of the artistic, and she's more of the, you know, numbers behind it. What's up, dude? How you been, man? No, perfect timing, dude. Yeah, just make yourself at home, man. All right. Could we see him in the background? 